So following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here. We got to um, we got to this stage here where we need where we can rewrite this as as this because this is not very really useful. So we, uh, we we need to somehow be able to get from here to here. So let's um, let's look at let's just zoom into uh, to this block here. Uh, this is a block when n equals four. So let's zoom into this block here. We're, we're going to try and see how we can how we can represent this whole thing as this elegant thing here. So let's let's just zoom in when n equals four. So let's just let's just zoom in let's just zoom in when n equals four. So now if if you look at this um, if you look at this 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 pattern here goes on and on forever. So so you've got one times three times five times seven times nine times eleven thirteen and so on. It goes on all the way to infinity. But then if, if you look at the numerator, you can generate this. Remember, this is for a case of when n equals 4. You can generate this uh, numerator here. Because, because if you consider 2n, which will be 8 times 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then, and then you, you need to somehow get rid of all the even ones. So you need to get rid of 8, 6, uh, 4, uh, two and so on that that so so um so consider this if you want to get rid of um all the even ones all the even ones then uh then 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 consider this two because when n equals four uh it will be to the power of four uh, to the power of four so that will be uh that will be uh two times two times two times two and then uh and then times it with this remember four here so it will be Four factorial. Hang on, bear with me. It will make sense later on. So now, if you want to get rid of all the even ones, all the even, 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 then look at this. Um, um, this times this will be two, so that will get rid of the two. This times this will be four, and then uh, this times this will be six, and then this times this will be eight. So, so you can get rid of eight. So what you're left with is seven, five, three, and one. So, uh, so you, the point is that you can generate the numerator by considering this. Consider by considering this. So, uh, so remember, this whole thing here will just generate what's at the top here. So now, uh, now you you've got to uh, divide it by divide it by uh, two to the power of n because there are four of them. And then, uh, so this gets multiplied to the bottom later on. So that that will then give you so this. Times this, that will be uh, that will be two n, uh, two to the power of two n. So that will then generate this whole thing, and then now you need to divide it by divide it by divide it by n factorial. So this gets multiplied to the bottom. That will then give you this. So uh, so that's where this came from. Okay. So so the whole point here is that you can uh, you can rewrite this. You can rewrite this whole thing here as this. So let's take it from here. So this thing here equals this thing here. So let's take it from here. So now, hang on. So um, so this thing here, this thing here is equal to to this. So now integrate both sides. We, we don't know how to integrate this, so we, we're going to integrate this. So to integrate the series, we've done this before. So so this will go up by one, and then you divide it by four n plus one. Well, integrating this whole thing here. Will then give you this, and we need to evaluate it from zero to one because we are evaluating it from zero to one. Uh, so you would then put this into the x here, um, into the whole series. So so one to the power of this thing here will, will always be one. Uh, and then and then when when you uh, when you put zero into here, um, everything will be zero. So you 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 can forget about this. So when you put zero in, when you put one into here, this thing here will be one. So this whole thing here will simplify to uh, to this, okay? So that will then take us to um, to to here. Well, here, this here is an alternating series, and it's um, it's an alternating series that's decreasing. It's always decreasing. And if if you're not if you're not able to to see why it's decreasing, let's let's look at a case when n equals uh, four. So here you've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then this thing here uh, would be two to the power of eight because we're looking at a case. Well, basically, we're trying to. Well, I'm trying to illustrate to you that this thing here is decreasing. 
is decreasing. So, um, so this will be uh, what is it? Two to the power of eight. So that would be two times two, uh, eight times six, seven, eight. And then this thing here will be uh, remember four here. This is the case for n equals four. So it'd be four three two one because it's squared. It's going to be another four three two one. And then uh, and then times uh, times uh, sixteen seventeen times 17. So you can see that the numerator will, would be much much bigger than the numerator as n heads towards infinity. Think about it, this thing here is, uh, is decreasing. Um, so, so this is an alternating series. Uh, so, so whenever you have an alternating series, remember whenever you have an alternating series, if you, if you um, group this up to some certain capital N, up to some certain capital N, the remainder Remember, there's a theorem that says the remainder, the break, the remainder would be would be less than this value here, would be less than this value here. So, so if you cut it at capital N, so if you um, if you cut it at capital N, so that's this capital N here. So, so uh, the remainder will be less than or equal to this value here. Well, this value here would be a n plus one because it's the next term. This is a n. So the remainder. So this is our remainder here, because because u integrating from zero to one is really u going all the way to infinity. So if you uh, this s n here would be u cutting up to cutting it cutting it up up to some certain capital n, cut up to certain capital n. So if you get the whole thing, take away, but basically this whole thing here represents a remainder. Okay, so the remainder must be less than this next value here, which is m n plus one. Well, so you, so you would put so this here, bear with me. We we're, we're going to cut out here. So this is up to some certain capital N. So this one here must be a uh, certain capital N plus one. So you would put this into here. So that would be this thing here. Put a M capital N plus one into here. That would then give you this. Basically, there's a theorem that says that the remainder um, must be less than or, or equal to to this specific value. Value here. Well, n plus one put into here that will then give you this. So the remainder would be less than or equal to this thing here. So hang on. So now, um, now we uh, we we require our, our we require our remainder to be strictly less than less than this because originally from the from the original question we require area our error to be within this level of accuracy. So we require our our remainder to be strictly less than this. So now it's just a matter of us guessing uh, capital N, the number of terms needed. Um, we we don't have a good way of solving this, so we, we're going to have to guess. So when when guess um, guess 30 n equals 38, that's no good. Guess n equals 103, that's no good. Guess n equals um, 124, that would then give us this. But we require we require n we require our, our remainder to be. Uh, we require our remainder to be less than this thing here. Well, when when you have 124 terms, our remainder will be this. But well, this is bigger than this thing here. So so 124 is no good. Let's try 125 terms. Well, our remainder when n equals this, our remainder will be this. So our remainder will be less than. Less than this thing here, so so therefore we we need 125 terms. So going back to here, going back to here to integrate this, if if you do it up to uh, capital N equals one two five, then then this then this thing here will equal this, and now we can be 100% sure that this will lie within our level of accuracy. So we will need 125. Okay.